Fast Gadgets. So what I'm going to do today um, on the new MacBook Pro Retina 2015 edition, this is the 13.3 with 8GB uh, of RAM, 256 uh, gigabyte SSD, and an i5 processor. What I'm going to do is I have a demonstration video and I want to edit it to create a movie and test rendering of 4k video so let me go to where my videos are and we're going to grab i just shot this 4k video so what i've got here is a uh, two minute 4k video and the first minute is static and the second minute i pan throughout the video so what i'm going to do is render out this video as a 4k project and we're going to time it and find out how long it takes to render a two minute 4k video and what i'll also do is do a couple of benchmarks on um, a couple other systems so i'll pull out the 2011 macbook pro and render it on that and i'll also render it on uh, my i7 Yoga 2 Pro running Fedora 24 Linux. So let me get my stopwatch set up and we'll go ahead and do the render. Alright, I've got my stopwatch ready and there's no special edits, no fades, no nothing. I'm just cutting in the video and I'm gonna go ahead and do the render. Now because this is a 4k video what I've been told is that uh, iMovie is supposed to detect the resolution and it looks like it has so I can up it to 4k and I'm gonna keep the quality at high instead of ProRes um, and I'll try to approximate the settings on Fedora 24 and we'll leave it as faster so it'll have less compression which is perfectly fine so a two minute video looks like it's gonna come up to about 447 megabytes pretty pretty good and we'll go next and it wants to know what I want to save the file nothing special really now I'm not sure if it starts right away when I click save so I'm gonna click save and it does so I'll click start on my stopwatch Alright, it's getting close to the end here, uh, about two minutes, now three minutes. A few seconds left here. Alright, now when it tells me it's done rendering, okay, I'm going to hit stop. So three minutes, 12 seconds uh, for the MacBook Pro 2015 Retina. And the next system I'm going to bring up is the MacBook Pro 2011, uh, and we're going to test that. All right, well, we're ready to go on the MacBook Pro 2011. So I am going to go ahead and tell to render to file. Name is my movie. Oops, made a mistake already. Uh, we want to change that to 4K high faster next and when I hit save we will begin timing all right well this one finished up at 20 minutes 58 seconds um, a significant uh, extension in time so uh, the MacBook Pro Retina 2015 did three minutes 12 seconds so quite a bit better all right so now I have the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro set up and I'm doing the same thing at least I'm trying it looks like I already locked up ah yeah why do I even try this huh I tell you um, right now I'm in GNOME and I probably should be doing this in KDE so as soon as uh, the software gets done crashing, I'm going to switch over to KDE. Okay, well, we're back. Um, as luck would have it, the video 
uh, transfer from my phone didn't even work, so I had to redo that. Uh, basically, what happened was um, I was in GNOME and I tried to load the video and I automatically crashed Caden Live. So, what a strange frames per second 30.02. Um, definitely want the 30 seconds, or I mean 30 frames. So I'm just going to check real quick, go into project, project settings. I'm not sure what 30.02 is about, but I think what I'm going to do is go to 4K, 2160p. Uh, 30 frames per second exact. Okay, now since um, Caden Live can crash quite often. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. Uh, looks like I already had one, so I'll just take that one and overwrite it. And yes to overwrite. Now, it's questionable whether or not setting um, the environment here, processing threads to 4, helps or not, but I am going to do that. Um, it's already set for concurrent threads, and then if you look in uh, render settings, if you go to more options, uh, you can see that it has threads here too as well. Now I'm going to put encoder speed all the way up. I'm going to leave the quality kind of in the middle, which is where I had it last time. And I'm trying to remember, I think, if I actually wanted to upload this to YouTube. For some reason, YouTube wasn't able to take an H.265 video type. Uh, which, oh, I guess this is H.264 AAC. Yeah, it couldn't do it. Or was it Webm? I can't remember. I honestly don't remember. I think I'm going to set it for this one. Let's look at the quality. I want about medium. I don't know why that goes all the way up when I change the frame rate. I want the frame rate to be 30. Audio, I guess I'll encode this at 128 so I get a kind of middle of the road. Um, encoder speed, I don't know why that went all the way down again, but we'll put that back up. And I'm going to check my stopwatch, make sure that's ready to go. Uh, but the good thing is it does tell you in Caden Live how long the render takes, which is nice. I like that. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to do... I'm going to have stopwatch ready. I can't remember if it asked me for a file name next or not. I don't think it does. Uh, i got to clear the previous entry, and we will go. I hope the file already exists, untitled. And... My timer didn't start, so we'll go again, and now I actually have the timer running. So it's hard to say how long this is going to take. Um, rendering finished. No, I don't think so. That's because I never put the file in. Ducky. Got to have the file in there or there won't be anything to render now, will there? All right, let's grab this. Drop it in. Clear the settings. Go to render, render project, render to file, and yes. Okay. So anyway, yeah, it does give you a time estimate, which I really like, um, as well as... There we go. So yeah, I bumped it up a little bit. So it's going to vary... Um, typically, I've seen render times be slightly longer than uh, my MacBook Pro Retina, uh, which is fine. It actually, at 1080p, the MacBook Pro 2011 and this system kind of were neck and neck. And I don't think that's a function of hardware. I really think that's the operating system. So, again, this is on the Lenovo 2 Yoga Pro, 8GB of RAM, i7, uh, 4510 U, I think it is, or Y. I, can't, I always forget. I think it's the U. Um, and we'll see how good it does. 
All right, rendering time for the uh, i7 running Fedora 24. Five minutes, 16 seconds, not too shabby. Um, considering that it's about almost, oh, I don't know, about 40%, uh, 50% uh, slower than the MacBook Pro Retina, I still think it's a decent time. MacBook Pro Retina did 3 minutes 12 seconds. The system did 5 minutes 16 seconds. So it's entirely possible to do shorter uh, 4K video on this system. Um, it's still definitely viable for that. All right, well, our render time wouldn't be complete without having some fun. So what we have here uh, is the iMac. 20 inch early 2008 that I bought for my wife a while back. Um, I've since upgraded it to four gigabytes of memory. I did not change the hard drive out, so it's still got the uh, 5400 RPM hard drive, which doesn't have the greatest uh, times render wise or anything for that matter, but it actually is very good. Um, if you look back in my Mac videos, I have an unboxing of this system as well as testing and setup and it actually is quite decent um, so I did not bother putting an SSD into it but I did upgrade the RAM and we are gonna do a test 4k render so we know the MacBook Pro 2011 uh, did its test render in about 20 minutes uh, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how well this system does or does not do. Now I have done quite a bit of 1080p rendering on my MacBook Pro 2008 which is about the same as this system is but I have not done uh, any 4k rendering. I haven't attempted it so we're gonna go ahead and get the stopwatch set up and here's the stopwatch. Now I'm not gonna hold it up all this time but um, I will definitely keep an eye on it and I'm going to go ahead and tell it that I want to render it to file and I'm going to change this. Oh, look at that. It won't even let me select 4K. Oh, disappointing. You know, it must be because the system's so old. Well, I guess we could change quality to best ProRes and let it do the best it can and change the compression to better quality so if we do faster yeah I guess we don't need to worry about that but um, we can change this to ProRes uh, that's about all we can change so this isn't going to be necessarily apples to apples but it would give us a pretty good idea so I'm going to click next and it wants to know what I want to save it as. I'll just call it my movie. And we're off to the races. Come on. There we go. Once again with these touch screens. Wow. All right. We'll see how it does. Okay, well, the iMac has finished rendering. And I'm going to pull up the stopwatch here. And I will show you its final render time. 36 minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, so, way behind uh, the MacBook Pro 2011, and of course this unit uh, was rendering a video that was in 1080p because it wouldn't even let me select 4K, so we can only speculate as to how long it would have taken this system to actually do the rendering. So, all in all, uh, what did we learn from this? Well, uh, the MacBook Pro Retina definitely has the top render time at 3 minutes 12 seconds. And the Lenovo Yoga 2 Pro rendered 5 minutes, 16 seconds, the same exact file. And the MacBook Pro 2011 rendered that same file at 20 minutes, 58 seconds. So almost 29 minutes. Uh, that is a significant difference between the MacBook Pro 2011 and the MacBook Pro Retina. So... Uh, they're both i5s, but of course the MacBook Pro Retina is much more advanced and much more newer and capable of doing much more. Um, so yeah, I would say I could definitely do rendering with the MacBook Pro uh, 
uh, Retina or the Lenovo Yoga 2 um, and do 4K video, shorter 4K video without a problem. So thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this episode of Fast Gadgets and I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much.